going on guys? Sasakura here, and today we are going to be exploring the lab. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory when you get around to it, but you just sit here, press start, we'll be in the loading screen, loading the lab. Now there are seven, I do believe, seven different experiments you can do with this, uh, the lab. And, uh, they're all kind of fun. So I'm going to do a video on each one, I do believe, to keep it short and simple. So this will be the first one out of all of them. And, yeah, you have a list over here. Uh, eight. There are eight that I did not, did not remember. So basically what you do is you have all of these areas around you. And same uh, way to get around, you just hit on the pad here and you can choose where to walk. Um, after you visit each one, you get one item or a dog from each section, and they sit on this table here. So you have like a bow, balloon blow upper thing, earth, some sticks. Whoops, whoa, whoa. You have a uh, fly this guy. I don't remember how to fly him though. Not like that. Okay, so yeah, and then you got the Atlas, you got the little monster guy, you have the Techno Wall, and apparently the Valco. Okay, anyway. Okay, so what we have here is Postcard Slingshot, uh, Longbow, Zortex 26XX, Secret Shop, Robot Repair, Solar Systems, and Human Body Scan. Each one is different in their own kind. Um, there are only three that are actual games, and I do believe that the updates out. Uh, you can grab a little clipboard here and read what they do, and I'll show you as we go uh, with each one. I think these three here are actual games, and if there is an update already, the uh, update actually added... Um, if it's not out, it's coming out, but it adds um, more options for at least Longbow and maybe this game, and you get... Uh, like scoreboards and stuff, which weren't there before. So it's pretty neat. I'm um, actually having scoreboards and like artificial unconditional and also love has just been discovered in Okay, universe so we'll start with the postcards. Congratulations, postcard test experiment. Power. The Lucid Spectrum description: Each postcard transverses you to a different location from around the world. Move the plug to select which location you'd like to be sent to. So I guess we'll start off with the most one. Venice, Italy. So you grab the ball with your trigger and you slap it in your head. That's how you go to places. It's uh, also exciting that way. Waiting for Venice, Italy to load. I'll kind of fly through the easy, the dumb ones because they're not very fun. Okay, here you are. Venice, Italy. Um, you're basically, you have this. You have a little square to walk around in. Nothing special. Uh, VR Venezia. Uh, it does look pretty neat, not gonna lie. It's really simple. Uh, this is all you get, so it's not like there's something hidden, as far as I have known. I didn't really look around. But yeah, you're just in a little corridor area for Venice, Italy. And like, if I go over here and go all the way to the corner, you can like walk off of obviously where you're supposed to be. You can kind of like peek down. Obviously, there's some broken there. Uh, so yeah, this is this is it. And then you can stand up here. Ooh, fancy! And you can throw sticks. When there's sticks, throw sticks. The dog catches them. Simple. To go back, you use the trackpad. Or not the trackpad. Wow. The. Uh... What am I? How do I get back? Oh yeah, the menu button. The menu button gives you the bubble to go back. Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. I've been playing other games. But, uh, yeah, so that was pretty neat. Uh, nice little area you just get to look around and experiment with. Um, just to feel like you're in Venice Italy. It makes you feel... Test Traveler has successfully returned in Pocket Universe Live. We're gonna go to a national eight. park. Congratulations, uh, Test Traveler. Snaps and schedule a couple like I've been in Iceland. Whatever that's 
still. Can I even get a loading screen for this thing? Hmm. Uh, as I said before, this will be the first out of eight videos. I will do all eight. Um, game. When I get to the games, I'll do the easy ones first. Uh, when I get to the actual games, I will uh, do a explanation and then play the game. So it might be a little longer. Dog, here's a stick. Go chase it. Uh, that's why I always put on the handle things, because I did not mean to let that go. It just literally slid out of my hand. Okay, so you have a couple areas here that you can walk to and look around. So it's kind of fancy. Bird flying up there. Got some flowers over in the area. But you literally can only go to these circles. Nowhere else. So you're just in an open field. Awesome, right? That's so cool. That's um, it is a different experience when you're there, like when you have the headset on and you put it on, um, you are wowed the very first time you go into these kind of things with the detail and, uh, the areas you go into. Test uh, Traveler has successfully returned in Pocket Universe Mod 8. The coolest Congratulations, one. Test Traveler. Oh, they're next. Now, this is the one that really gets people, because it's very, uh, detailed, and it's, like, mountainous, so you feel like you can fall off and all that jazz, so uh, I'll just run through this one real quick, and then we'll get to the one you can actually interact with. Okay, so first thing, I mean, bam, you're just on like a cliff, you have mountains down there, rocks, I mean, this is a pretty realistic rock, I think that I'm putting my hand through right now. The dog's making some noise, can move around, can move down here, can go to like this edge. Okay, so right now I'm standing on the edge looking down, and this is amazing every time. I'm never going to get over it, how absolutely beautiful this is. I, can, I feel like I'm standing up on a mountain right now, and it's fantastic. You can jump down there, jump over here, jump up there, uh, over here, on like this little ledge. Uh, if we go back up, maybe. I don't know. Is there an easier way to get up here? So over here you have the north face. We'll go over here. This is basically I'll go way out there. Yeah, this is my favorite spot right here. She's basically standing on this rock looking down into this cliff area. Absolutely wonderful view. Like you have your mountainous mounts mountainous scape. You have like snow up on the mountains over there trees down that way. You can see the little birds flying around below you. Definitely gets people when you kind of give them a shove at this point, when they're looking down the edge. Uh, you can go way over here, too. Kind of the same thing. Uh, just a different angle, looking around. Kind of enjoying the view. And, yeah. it's uh, This is probably the coolest one. Really gets everybody every single time. Even me. Like, it's astounding here. Simply amazing. Like this is the first thing. The vi or the lab is free on Steam. I will put a link in the description. And it's the first thing I played, at least. And it's usually the first thing that everybody plays. Pocket Universe Lab 8 has concluded an experiment. Congratulations, uh, Test Rap. That's messed up. That's not supposed to be happening. Things like this don't happen ever, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Bug. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. This is probably the coolest one, just because it's actually raining. Actually, never noticed the rain before. Maybe it's because I just got my new graphics card, and so it's actually showing me rain, or it's been added. Uh, you drag your thumb around this pad here to get different colors. You hold the trigger, and you blow up balloons, and you hit them. This one is just three points on the map. One, two, three, the one I'm standing on, and you basically blow balloons. 
try to hit him out the hole. And I did it, so I'm a winner. That's that. Okay, we're gonna go back now. Uh, I'm gonna show you one more thing with this, and then this video is gonna be done, and we move on to the next few videos. Oh yeah, uh, the lab link in the description. That's the first game I play. It's usually the first game I think everybody should play just to get a feel of test how to traveler use has VR successfully stuff. returned in Pocket um, Universe Lab. We're gonna eight. go with this. Congratulations, uh, my test traveler. This out. You take this clip here. You're out of those four. You can actually plug it in to that there valve and pull yourself in. This is the valve demo room number one. I've never been in here personally, I just watched him do it, so I don't know what it looks like on the inside. But, uh, here we are. Okay, so you have a demo room, you've got... ...things all over. And I pulled the fire alarm, so hopefully nobody gets mad. Can't open the door, can't do anything. That's the thing. What is happening here? Oh, okay, well, these are opening. I'm <laughs> not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. This is their fire. This is their fire. Alarm system. This is a bunch of balls you flying around. I've literally never been in here again, so I have no idea what to do. Got a chair. Got a oh. oh, that makes sense. on the headset, recognize codes on the walls to track first position. Prototype displays were built from two cell phones connected to custom circuitry. So they have like tape and a little, uh, computer here and everything. Uh, I'll plug in some stuff, the computer down there. Uh, this is the Valve headset that they first used. Two cell phones tracking things on the walls. This is VRception right now. I just put on a VR headset while I'm VR to go into VR. It's crazy. Okay, so um, I did watch him do a little bit more in this room than I did the last room. This must be... Where does there clipboard? the board? Well, demo room. Room scale VR evolved with the invention of laser tracking technology codenamed Lighthouse. Each base station emits infrared lasers which sweeps across the headsets, allowing precise uh, tracking of the wearer's position. This demo room in H Valve HQ was used to showcase hundreds of different VR experiments. So they have their centers mounted on the wall. Um, and yeah. Pull that. And this is the exact fire system in just a bunch of bullets. Okay, so here I don't know. I don't think you can actually do anything. Kind of mess with him. Oh, what's this? Needles. Oh, I'm hitting. Okay, anyway, so your needles blow up balloons. I'm gonna do something out of the boards here. Um, if you have a big enough room. You can escape the room that you're not supposed to leave. Obviously, you're gonna cheat the system a little bit. Like, this looks like crap. <laughs> this is now room number two. Uh, garbage can. Surprisingly, they do not kill in this section. Um, just because you look in it, but whoops. There's a couch, looks like, some controllers, uh, some sign-ins over there for steam, um, some doors, but yeah, this is basically, you can see the Valve headquarters, so, that will be it for this video, um, 
definitely worth trying this out, like, probably first, again, if you haven't played any other VR stuff and you get the headset, because just Test this traveler alone, of Pocket Universe Lab things, 8 has returned and from the an experiment. And the rest of the demos that I'm going to show you will get used to, you used to playing actual things and interacting. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit like if you liked the video. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff so from me. Hearts to you all. I don't know if I'm doing this right. And uh, see you in the next video.